that autonomous systems should be making any moral decisions about the use of lethal force. Shield AI does not believe that. That's Shield AI policy. That is US military policy. That is NATO policy. And so I am less concerned about this feature of autonomous killer robots. I think it gets overblown by Hollywood. Drones have been used in war zones since as early as World War I, but their importance has grown immeasurably since then. 70% of recent conflicts used drones. And just for a second, in 2010, only three countries possessed armed drones. In 2025, these numbers increased to 118 countries and they continuously grow. So definitely what we see from the war in Ukraine and Middle East they are tactically, operationally, and strategically absolutely important weapons, and they have become central, not peripheral. The war in Ukraine has shed light on the explosion of drone deployments in modern warfare and the various special functions that they can perform. However, who actually wins from this drone arm race is China, because both Ukraine and Russia are using Chinese components still to some extent, we have seen a lack of those systems from the US. Particularly, we have not really seen the presence of many of American companies in the real battlefield.